calendars by Readle. We're going to dive into a review of whether it's your next calendar application and why 20 million people use this as their calendar application in this little bit of a deep dive into this application. So let's start. What is Calendars by Readle? Very simply, as you can see, it's a calendar application. The experience is very basic, but it allows you to get started managing your events and even your tasks and shortcuts, which are basically like habits and routines inside of the pro experience. What does Calendars do? Well, very simply, you can manage your calendar here. There is a way to start adding events and it also uses natural language input, which means I can type in something like meet with Alex and what it will do is it automatically find the person in my contacts and get going with it. Now, the great thing is I can actually bring in the likes of Google Calendar, Outlook, Exchange and many, many more, which makes, makes it a really accessible calendar. And I can also connect up video calling softwares like the likes of Zoom and GoToMeeting. This experience is something that a lot of people like for managing their calendar because it's fast. It's not necessarily full of detailed features, but it provides what people want inside of their experience. Now, one of the things that a lot of people do like is a task management aspect in which you get the inbox, today upcoming, and some basic list management. It's not going to replace Todoist or TickTick like those applications as fully-fledged task management systems, but it is going to give you a pretty easy and basic one if you're somebody that really likes to take advantage of time blocking. So let's look at some of the features that we really liked inside this application. Let's keep on the topic of the um, task management. So one of the things is the plan function. Um, as you can see, I've got a item on my list. I can actually drag it into the relevant place I like and even uh, actually create another one if I want to, which is really nice. I can add an anytime task from here like uh, read book and I can drag it in anytime I want, changing the duration really easily too. And you can also tick these off inside of your lists uh, without actually having to go into the task, which is a really nice function. The other thing we really liked was the shortcuts ability. You can see I've dragged loads in because they're really easy to drag in. If I've got a habit that I want to routinely do or deep work or even health and fitness, then I can just drag it in really easily without having too much of a delay. And this is great. It's almost like bookmarked versions of your events that are most important to you, which we found to be pretty helpful. The month view was really, really nice and the general quality in terms of uh, location and um, data with weather was really, really nice in terms of seeing what the weather was like ahead. Mainly rainy here in the UK, but very interesting and good to see in advance. Some of the things that we didn't like about this application is the majority of features, including the likes of interesting calendars, plans and shortcuts, as well as a task area is locked, which means when you download this and you just want to get started with the free plan, you're literally going to be hit by paywalls pretty much everywhere if you being around the application, mainly because you're really locked only to the calendar experience. And I'd say about 60% of the experience is locked because you're only focused on the calendar. And to be honest, it's a reasonably priced application, which we'll talk about in a moment, but largely it does limit you in terms of what uh, you are getting access to. Um, but if people are okay with that, that's absolutely fine. That's really the only con we could find. It's speedy, functional, and easy to use. Pretty much an all-round calendar experience. So how much does calendars by Readle cost? Well, it's going to knock you back 19 bucks per year, which again is really reasonable. If you look at the likes of Fantastical, you're looking at pricing, that's almost double uh, half the price of Fantastical's yearly rates. I think it may be even less than that, which is pretty good. And I think you get a pretty nice experience, especially if you're an iOS and Mac user, um, which Fantastical is also available on. Um, and I think some of the task management abilities are actually slightly better in terms of approachability than the likes of Fantastical. So this is a great all-round calendar application. Low price, doesn't do too much advanced stuff, but knows what it is. Tasks and uh, calendar in one has good amount of connections. And I think overall, it's a good experience. So our verdict on this, is it any good? Is it worth checking out? If you're not in the hunt for a really advanced uh, calendar management application, then this is your bet. It's an all-rounder. It's going to be easy to use. It won't come on Android or Windows, but at the same time, if you're not looking for something on those devices, then this is going to be a good one for you. To be honest, 
it is a really good set because Riedel created it. Riedel are the developers of Spark Mail and PDF Expert, which are really well-known applications in the space. So you're getting something that's from a reliable developer that's been in the business for over 10 years, a little bit like us. So if you're in the hunt for calendar apps after this video, you can jump over to Tool Finder. We've got loads of calendar apps there in which you can dig a little bit deeper into. So hopefully this review was helpful and it gave you some insights about where the calendars is right for you. If it's not, you know where to go, but I'll see you in a future video, I am sure. Cheerio, folks. See you later.